Let's open this real quick. Ooh! What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to explore different kinds of pens. So we have here ranges of pens from 50 cents all the way up to a $300 pen. We want to know why this costs $300. This is from Versace. Versace, Versace. And then we're going to range it from here, which is the normal Bic pen. Let's start off. So this is 50 cents, 75 cents, 75. This is like $2, $4, $5, $7, $300. So let's give this video a big thumbs up if you believe guavajuice.com slash shop for new merch. Thumbs up. Seriously, if you got new merch, go guavajuice.com slash shop. It has opened up a new merch store. Let's do it, okay. Let's open this up first. This is like the cheap pens over here. This is the ones you let your classmates borrow whenever they ask to borrow a pen because these pens are not the greatest. So you'd rather have them take your cheap pens. All right, so let's start off guava. See, you can't even, what is this? There's like some kind of thing that's blocking it from writing. There you go. Guava. I'm writing this upside down. So I'm gonna rate each pen as far as like how smooth it writes, how dark it writes, how it feels in your hand. I'm gonna have to give this one probably a four out of 10, just cause it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good. This is the Bic Extra Comfort. I feel like you can trust this one. This is the ones you see whenever you go to a restaurant and they're like, oh, here's sign the bill. Okay, off the bat, there's a little bit of disappearance right there. The smoothness is not that smooth at all. In the end, it's okay. Actually, I think this pen feels a lot better than that. this pen. Yeah, this pen is a lot smoother than this pen, so I'm gonna have to give this pen a two out of 10, okay? So far, this is the bottom, and then runner up for there is this pen right here, okay? All right, we're moving on to the Staples pen. This is also, one of those cheap pens. The design looks great. It's, is it durable? Oh yeah, it's super durable. So the initial test is, will it start writing as soon as you put it down? Or will it leave some disappearing marks? Oh, okay. As you see there, there's no disappearance right there, which is good. Initial ink, nothing. Boom. I kinda see some kind of disappearing right over here, which is kind of okay. Let's try the other pens real quick. This is the, uh, the one I rated two. See, disappearing over there. So I'm gonna rank this staple one. It feels, it feels okay. So I'm gonna rate this a three out of 10. So worst, okay, good. All right, let's try out the ballpoint pen, okay? There are different kinds of pens. Ballpoint pens, fine tip pens, pens, pens. I like this because I like clicking. It's like a fidget spinner. I love fidget spinners from my head to my toes. All right, let's do the initial line test. Will this thing start writing as soon as you put it in? Uh, you see a little bit of fading right here in the beginning, okay? Let's see how, how it feels, how smooth it feels. It feels okay. Okay, I know what you're saying. Just wait till the end of the video. We're gonna get to the Versace pen. I wanna start from the bottom and compare it. So once you have everything, all the knowledge from the previous pens, you will know what the Versace pen is. So this is gonna be tied. I'm gonna put this tied with this pen. All right, next up we have the RSVP ballpoint pen. We have these pens. You see, you've seen these pens around, right? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Pretty consistent all the way through. How smooth is it? It's, okay, it's not really that smooth. It's very sharp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this right here. It's tied with this one. Next up, we have the almighty four different color pen. So the black ink. How? Let's do the line test. Bam. Ah! You can kind of see it gets a little bit lazy in the beginning. But as the ink comes, it goes a little bit darker right here. Oh wait, I messed up. I don't know what happened, my brain just farted. Okay, this one, I'm gonna rate this right here with these pens, okay? They're all the same. Here we're gonna go with the big timers, okay? These are the more expensive pens, the more luscious and more durable, delicate pens. We're gonna start with this one. Here's the line test, okay? Here we go. Is it solid? Oh, I don't know about that one. It gets a little bit lazy right here. Come on, you can't be, f let's do it again. All right, that's, that's a little bit better. Oh, I did it again. 
I did it again. <laughs> I mean, we could do the swirly test. It, it feels really smooth, to be honest. As soon as this thing is warmed up, it's good. So I give this a six out of 10. We're moving on to the Sharpie pen. Bam. Oh, that's not good. The initial line test, you don't really, it's not solid. Okay, it's like a, it's kind of like a marker to be honest, which is kind of, it's not consistent. Yeah, it's not the greatest. Welcome to the finale, the moment you all have been waiting for. Thank you for bearing with me with the other pens here. Big thumbs up, big thumbs up, hit it! Three, two, one! The Versace pen. Check it out. By the way, this is $300. If you don't know how much, $300. Here we go. The Versace pen. So the packaging is a little bit extra, you know, compared to this. Of course, if it's $300, you better make it the best thing ever. So let's open this. Oh my gosh, who would buy this? Look at that. Ooh, Versace. Oh my, wow. So Versace pen, it's one of those twisty ones where you twist it. It's heavy, hear it. Okay, compared to this, here's the line test. Ooh, okay, okay. It's a little bit faded. Uh, you can see here, especially at this moment right here, it's very, even that circle I did was very faded. Ah, oh, yikes, that's not good. Right guava. It's very smooth, I can tell you that. It's very smooth. But the consistency of the ink, it's not, look at that. There's like a little bit of like disappearance right there. A little bit, it's not consistent. Compared to the Staples pen, let's do a head on comparison. Straight line. Let's look at it closely. Okay, they look about the same, except this one costs like $5 and this one costs $300. Take a closer look at the pen. It's very good, very, very nice. There's the design right there, if you're wondering what that looks like, right there. Let's take it apart, how about that? Maybe there's like a, maybe diamonds in here. Ooh, whoa, look at this. So it comes with like, the, I don't know, this is a huge capsule. It's like, a, I don't even know. I feel bad, once you run out of ink with this pen, can you use any other pen's ink? Let's find out. So I decapitated the other pen. Let's see if it actually fits here. You know, you gotta save as much as you can, you know. There, yeah, it kind of, it opens, but then if you detract it, there's still a little bit of a hole that's sticking out, which is fine. I mean, you can't really tell, right? See, it's not bad. Here's a quiz. I wrote guava multiple times. Can you guess which one is the Versace pen? Huh? Can you guess which one is it? It's this one. No, I'm just kidding. It's this one. But honestly, this looks the same as this. This looks the same as this, except it's blue. Oh, what the heck? There's a button. That's a button? Did you hear that? It made a noise, like a little chime. Whoa! I wonder if it's different now. That's weird. It, it, what? There's like this angelic whispery, I don't know, like angels, like a choir singing, like, oh. Put the mic closer. What? That is crazy. That is crazy. What? Wait, what? Hello? No, I'm just kidding, it's not a telephone. That is cool, I didn't realize it made sounds. Let's test the aerodynamics of each pen, okay? Let's start with this pen. Ready? All right, fly! 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 Versace, go fly! Went down here somewhere. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Versace pen? Oh, look at that! Versace on the floor. Hey! <laughs> Get it out for me, for me, for me, for me. Honestly, I just bought this so I could say that line. We're back in the table. Well, we're gonna test out the opacity of things, okay? Meaning how much can you scribble and not see through the paper? Go like that. 
But over time, I think the ink is starting to fade, which is kind of sad. Okay, so that's the Versace. 10 seconds of just scribbling things. Let's compare it to the Bic. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, clearly they look the same. <laughs> That's crazy. Next up, we're gonna see how well it does with drawing. We're just gonna draw Pikachu as fast as possible. Okay, so here we go. Here's the Versace pen of Pikachu. Okay, so that's the Versace pen. Let's imitate the same thing with uh, the regular 50 cent pen. Ready, and go. All right, I think, I think, you know, these pens, like I said, you're paying for the brand. They spend one dollar on the ink, the other two hundred and ninety-nine dollars on this. I, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if this is real gold. So, what have you learned? You know, just buy normal pens. You'll be really happy. Okay. All right. All right. Gucci.